Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on hypertensive retinopathy. Hypertensive retinopathy is a condition in which the blood vessels in the retina of the eye are damaged due to high blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause narrowing and thickening of the blood vessels in the retina, which can lead to reduced blood flow to the retina and damage to the delicate tissues of the eye. Mild and moderate hypertensive retinopathy is associated with a one to two-fold increase in the risk of hypertension. Mild and moderate hypertensive retinopathy is associated with a one to eight-fold increase in the risk of stroke. Mild hypertensive retinopathy is associated with a two to three-fold increase in the risk of coronary artery disease. Moderate hypertensive retinopathy is associated with increased risk of cognitive decline. So you can see how serious hypertensive retinopathy signifies. There are a few signs of hypertensive retinopathy, which I will cover in this video. The first one is arteriovenous nipping or nicking, where an enlarged retinal arteriole that crosses a vein can press down and cause swelling distal to the crossing. The vein will have an hourglass appearance on either side of the intersection. Shown in this black arrow here, it is associated with hypertension. Persistently elevated blood pressure causes hyperplasia of the arteriolar media and intimal thickening. The enlarged vessel impinges on the underlying vein, giving it a nipped in appearance. The second sign is copper and silver wiring. This refers to the abnormal coloring of the arterioles seen through an ophthalmoscope. In copper wiring, the arterioles appear reddish-brown. In silver wiring, the vessels look gray. This occurs due to hypertension. For its mechanism, the distortion of the normal light reflex of the retinal vessels is the cause of both discolorations. In copper wiring, the sclerosis and hyalinization spreads throughout the arterioles, continually thickening them. As this thickening continues, the light reflex becomes more diffuse, and the retinal arterioles become red-brown in appearance. In silver wiring, worsening sclerosis increases the optical density of the vessel wall, making it look sheathed. If the entire vessel becomes sheathed, it will look like a silver wire. The third sign is cotton wool spots. This describes small areas of yellow-white discoloration on the retina, often described as puffy white patches. This is commonly associated with diabetes and hypertension. Other less common causes are central or branch vein occlusion, HIV, and pancreatitis. It occurs principally due to damage and swelling of the nerve fibers. Prolonged hypertension results in distortion and blocking of retinal arterioles, blockage of axoplasmic flow, and a buildup of intracellular nerve debris in the nerve fiber layer. These insults result in swelling of the layer. Another sign is microaneurysm, which are small, round, dark red dots on the retinal surface that are smaller than the diameter of major optic veins. They often herald a progression to the exudative phase of hypertensive retinopathy. This occurs due to diabetes and hypertension. As progression of hypertensive retinopathy occurs, there is capillary occlusion ischemia and degeneration of the vascular smooth muscle, endothelial cell necrosis, and formation of tiny aneurysms. The fifth sign is retinal hemorrhage, which is bleeding that occurs in or spills onto the retina. They can be dot and blot, or streaking in appearance. Retinal hemorrhage is associated with hypertension, diabetes, and trauma to the eye. It can also be caused by retinal vein or artery occlusion. For its mechanism, prolonged hypertension leads to intimal thickening and ischemia. This causes degeneration of retinal blood vessels to the point where they leak plasma and bleed onto the retina. That's all for this video. Thank you.